Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a review and recap of a new episode of Fake Khalid, Linea, Prisma, Ilya, Two Way, Hers. In other words, you could call it like um, Prisma, Ilya, Two Way, Hers, or anything, you know? Now, this episode right here, which is on episode 3, I gotta say, it's pretty funny at the same time, you know? I don't think I have much to say, but like, um, I think there has to be an explanation behind all this, that kind of thing, but I don't really know. So if anything else, um, let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have to it that, um, Mimi ends up having this strange old dream, which is apparently when she got, like, um, kissed by Kuro or something, and then later on she ends up seeing the, um, Kuro kissing Ilya, and she, she can't get these out of her head, so she decides to write them all down, you know, that kind of thing. It was just hilarious. And when it came to homework session time, um, there was a little heated argument about me about between Mio and Chloe and possibly Ilya about like, helping their friends out, you know, when Mimi's trying to figure something out. And apparently she decides to think the girls that were um kissing each other as boys, you know. This is because of Kuro, Ilya, and Miyu, you know? And I think in my mind, oh my gosh, dude, I'm I was just laughing hard right there. I'm like, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me, you know? And we have a funny scene between um I think Suzuka and her and her sister, you know, and it was it was pretty hilarious because like um, it seems like it seems like um her sister got rejected about some offer of a mangaka, kamika, whatever. But apparently, like um, Suzuka Kuriha, Kurihara decides to make an idea here and there, and later on manages to get a Mimi to come to her a house with all her notebooks. And apparently, it's all freaking like, um, I think, um, reverse harem or boys love kind of thing. And I was just laughing so hard. I'm like, wow, I can't believe, I can't believe they made you do this, you know. But apparently, Mimi decided, uh, Mimi was very reluctant about this, which is pretty cute seeing her struggle and gag, you know. But apparently, like, um, <laughs> <laughs> She decides to accept it anyways, and there was a scene between Suzuka and Klo um, Kuro and Miyu, you know? And they end up talking about, like, Mimi, you know? And apparently, like, Suzuka tries to explain it to them, explain it to the trio, um, Ilya, Kuro, and Miyu, but apparently that did not come out so well, so she said, it's best for you to look at it yourself, you know? And when they <laughs> end up watching or sneaking behind the doors of what Mimi's talking to, um, Suzuka, along with Miyu, Kuro, and Ilya reading a uh, freaking BL manga, which is Boys Love or Yaoi manga. I was just laughing again in the inside. I'm like, oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, like, I was like laughing so hard. I was like, oh my God. That kind of thing, you know? But eventually, you know, we have to it that um, Mimi sees that the three come out of the closet, you know, and then they end up having a small important talk, you know, about boys love or manga here and there that Mimi's been writing about, and apparently, like, um, she says she's been into writing boys, boys love manga, you know, and so forth, and so on, you know, and apparently she might have not gotten that kind of idea from, she apparently gotten that idea from Kuro, Miyu, and Ilya. No, no joke about it. I'm serious. That's what I was, that's what I'm thinking right now. Otherwise, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You can slap me across the face or anything, okay? But seriously, this episode literally got me laughing hard about boys love manga and so forth. But it does give out an important thing the way I look at it because it talks about maybe forbidden love, you know, gay marriages, you know, that kind of thing. We all know that. Let's not, let, 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 let's, let's keep, we, yeah, let's keep it short and simple like that. But, you know, <laughs> it was just a funny episode, you know. Like, um, no joke tomorrow, it, it was just a funny episode. The way I look at it and the way how it was done. <laughs> I was just laughing so hard, you know. But, um, after a couple of misunderstandings here and there, and maybe, like, um, knowing what's up, um, Mimi puts it this way. Girls should go, girls and boys should go with boys, and Ilya and Kuro's like, okay, I'm out of here, you know. She goes like, wait, 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 where are you going? And I think in my mind, oh boy, this is pretty crazy, you know, that kind of thing. But anyways, it was just funny. She said she's not going to get a boyfriend too, which is just really sad and lonely, but hey, it is what it is. I, I just, I'm just laughing it off, you know. I just enjoy, it's just like, um, pretty funny, you know. 
it, pretty funny. It's a pretty cool episode, at least, at least to get me laughing at at most, you know. So until then, I'll see you guys in my Shokugeki no Soma review. I'm off of Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Right? Do do do.